I know I probably shouldn't do this. So I got my glass made. And I have holes cut out for the main power supply. <laughs> Good morning, welcome to Superior Jude Garage. This episode is going to be quite long and probably quite boring. Drift season, I decided it's going to be over for me. I'm not gonna participate in any more events this year unless I manage to put the car back together. There is no engine anymore in the E36 and there's no tranny because tranny is right here. All nicely cleaned up. Everything is just waiting for the right parts to be put on. M50 225B as they call it, motor. What's going on over here? Well, total repaint. Uh, to total repaint, I pulled the exhaust manifolds because we are going big turbo. We are actually going turbo GT35R turbocharger style. So the work begins right here. Uh, I'm gonna pull the co uh, cover. We'll pull the top, basically. I wanna repaint the cover today. So that way when I do the rest of the stuff tomorrow, we're still waiting for some tools to come in. Yes, I do have an oil leak. Oil leak is basically coming right here because whoever put the seal, they sort of butchered the seal. So when it leaks oil, it leaks right, right out of this section. But what I did, I numbered my coil packs. So that way I know that they will go into the same spot they came off of. The coil is out. They're actually so wet because I washed the engine. Let's clean them off. to strip the cover of this crappy paint, get it nicely prepped so that I can actually get the color on here that I want, followed by the color that I want on the turbocharger as well. Shot. Everything looks pretty darn good. Cams are actually really nice as well. There is no marks as far as them being in shitty condition which is good. They know engineer is pretty good too. All right, the painting is in process. It's starting to look much better than it was before. Even though the prep is not that great on this thing, I wasn't able to prep it perfectly. But I took off the turbo, apart actually, because that's going to be the turbocharger on that actual car and I'm painted, I painted the housing of the turbo so that should look pretty goddamn good actually so in order for this to work and actually have the head shaved the valves on the other side have to be all closed so I'm forced to remove the camshafts this being the upper this being that lower or let's say
Alright, so what I have to do is we have those dowel pins, one right here, which I can't really mark, but what I'm gonna do is he's gonna machine the head, I'll put a mark up right here. So I know it goes right here. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Put a mark right there. Here's the part. So I did put the head back together yesterday. So all, everything over here is pretty much good. Good to go. Uh, boards, boards are torqued, torqued to 11 newton meters. The oil drain right there. Clutch. Clutch. Uh, the flywheel is uh, torqued to 110 pounds. Uh, I managed to take the old bolts. Uh, it took them to my machine shop over here, which I will mention in the video as well, because they've been helping me a little bit. And he actually managed to cut it down exactly to 28 millimeters. Perfect bolts, same strength of 12.9, so it's really hard, same pitch, everything was good. Uh, so this is painting take two. I don't like the way the paint set on it before because there was way too many grooves on here. So I pretty much grinded the shot of every single fifth coat of paint. Now we're gonna go clear coat. I guess it turned out way better than it was before. Every fluid possible is on this floor right now. And I have no way to actually really clean it up because I have sections of bolts that go for this, bolts that go for that. I just don't want to screw it up. But anyway, in order to remove this, it seems like there is a Jesus pin kind of looking deal. I already removed the locks that were holding the actual injector in place to the rail. So the way we're going to get oil to the turbo is basically this little adapter right here. We got the oil pressure sensor, still mounted, so it still gets the pressure to read. And then it goes down into this uh, magical looking fitting with a bunch of other ones for sensors that I will need, like oil pressure and whatever, temperature and stuff. And this nipple over here will provide the oil to the turbo. The oil drain for the turbo that I drilled into the side of the block, timing cover. Timing cover seems to be okay, everything is okay, except the position of this. The hole I drilled is a little way too high, 
which is I would have never known but it's a little way too high than it's supposed to be which causes the tensioner the tensioner to touch in this area let me see if I can make it brighter like right in this area it touch the, ten the tensioner touches which does not allow for proper tension when it comes to the timing gear and it's just a big, big, big disaster. So I'm picking up a new like, cover today and hopefully that will make things a little better. I'll clean everything up again and try one more time just to sit. Because this arm over here for the tensioner is actually out of a different engine, which seems like it's I've been told it's a M5 N52 engine between 2008 and 2014. The first cover that I got done got messed up. Obviously I uh, managed to get another one. Thank you Anthony uh, for actually supplying me yours. And I gave him mine as a core so he can work on it. But this time cover's ready, seal's ready, the, uh, the drain is ready. I put it as low as humanly possible. So it actually fits in the very, very corner. Zoom this in. Right there. So that, that should be okay for now, hopefully. And since uh, in order for me to put it on, I have to drop the oil pan because I cannot redo, I mean, move the head up because of the ARP bolts. I already replaced the gasket. It's only hanging on two bolts just for support. So it doesn't drip anywhere, just in case. It, chain is pretty stiff not like this one but I've been told that it's supposed to be like that because of our head gasket spacer that is massive we have gasket spacer and gasket we will I gotta find an adapter in order to make uh, this work with the wastegate because this is a 48 millimeter and the wastegate is actually a uh, 60 so I have to figure out a way to actually make that happen. Another day, another step. This probe is supposed to, and I asked why, uh, while I was, I was told that I cannot put in an exhaust pipe, which I was hoping to put just on the exhaust pipe that will be coming, like the downpipe I would say. No, I've been told it has to be in the manifold. So I've cho I chose this spot over here because it has no cover, obviously. And this is where I'm going to weld uh, connector so this thing can sit right here sort of in that matter this nut is exactly the same thread so what's gonna happen I'm gonna weld the nut right here and then simply screw in the center uh, the piece that holds the sensor it has a connector inside that actually compresses and makes it stay in place so that's what I'm going to do I want to call this a successful evening. Right now, got the panels and the timing, everything is set, everything is good. There's no problems, no issues with it anymore. I just gotta put some plugs in the front, uh, button everything up. So basically right now I'm going to put the valve cover. Uh, but then again, I found another issue, which means I'm gonna have to pull the intake manifold off once again in order to find the damaged cable that I just found that pulled and ripped so I gotta fix that hopefully it won't be too big of an issue somehow I can, I'll be able to do that
this engine that's finally going to be able to go inside in the engine bay. Everything seems to be buttoned up. I double checked everything, seems to be okay. Some of the things I'm gonna have to delete, like uh, get rid of this cruise control module, which is really not needed. Find the throttle cable, because there's two throttle cables, one running from that, and the other one is running from the actual paddle. There's still some things that have to be worked out, but that's going to happen pretty much right now. I'm very excited. Hopefully it works out. I'll be able to do it by myself. Uh, probably easier with two people, but hey, let's give it a shot. Why not? So the engine is in, everything is pretty much hooked up as far as uh, sensors and whatnot. We do have an uh, exhaust temperature sensor, which is actually located right in this tight spot right over there, which will be pretty much impossible to access after this, but there is really no other room for that. Uh, three bolts for the turbo going down, one up just for safety. Um, made an adapter over here, a custom adapter to go from a small to big pipe and actually extend the wastegate so it sits much lower and it's accessible to changing springs or anything like that that's necessary. Oil feed line it does not touch anything, everything is nice and good. Took off the filter which I'm gonna replace the filter anyway, it's about time. So we're gonna replace the filter. I hooked up a suction pump. Running off my jumper. Right over here. Into that tank, so that's pure 100 octane fuel, not being wasted at all. And being put into good use. What happened today is uh, I finally managed to mount the intercooler. I wanted to mount the piping as well, but it's time for me to go home. I've been here since five in the morning, so. Uh, basically, I have to weld those two together, the way it's shown right here. Once I weld those exactly the same, this way, I'll have straight shot. And then on this side, chop it, put a nice, uh, rubber clamp on here, on the rubber with clamps. It goes up here into the intake manifold, and the BOV pole goes right here. That's where it has to be uh, welded in. inside the car that's this time what's going on over here is uh, everything's ripped up as you guys can see gauges are all hooked up everything is fed through the firewall going over there I just gotta secure the wires uh, make it nice and neat 
or give or take as nice and neat as it will get fans accessories and everything else so that will probably or most likely go somewhere in this region this area underneath I'll make a box for the heater control because I'm still keeping the heater control I didn't want to go through issues with it it's just a pain turn on the lights Button. so if I go click we get motion and the gauges do read right now we have zero turbo obviously uh, exhaust gas temperature it is zero because the car is not running and the oil pressure is also zero because the car is not running that's why we have a red indicator I bought aluminum weight and I have measured uh, the distance between the top and the bottom which is about uh, 23 centimeters mark that off and then this is between the angle right over here right by the key area all the way to this so it's a nice long piece that is about 43 44 centimeters max 45 which I don't know yet so what I'm gonna do is I will chop this up and then uh, place it measure it once I'm able to actually make some bends I'll be able to know how long it actually is like okay height wise is perfect so bends, the bends, the bends. this is where we're going to do the bends if it's straight this bend will be right here and then a second Let's see this is sitting right here the first bend Second zone along here, and it should finish about here. So this is our chopping point. All right. I managed to get something like this going. Uh, basically, it's just bent, and I have holes cut out for the main power supply, heater control, uh, hazards, and actually the switches for the window. So what I'm going to do right now is actually wrap it in uh, 1080p. 3M carbon fiber wrap. Make it look pretty, and hopefully it will be good to go. Follow me down. There's no one around. Lay back and take your socks and shoes. That's done. I think the wrap is pretty okay. There were some blemishes and because of the metal, but overall it looks pretty good. So this is the panel uh, that I created for the gate uh, switches and everything else that's gonna go in the car. Carbon fiber wrapped. Pretty much easy access to the back. Uh, switches are nice; they stay nicely in. I got my glass made. Gloves are pretty okay, I guess. <coughs> it's going to get wrapped anyway. Closer, one more step closer. Everything on the car is pretty much buttoned up. Fan is on new radiator because the old one busted by, for some reason.
Did the dump finally got the piping custom and up top? Top is not finished yet. I still have to buy piping in order, to, I mean, uh, connectors because there's no way I'm gonna weld this. Yo! Yeah. 